What is going on, everybody? And welcome back into Brother Studios. Let's jump straight into this content. And this is session number four of the From the Grave 3D Sculpted Tumblr. Yes, this is going to be a trophy tumbler that we've been working on TikTok Live over the last few weeks. Uh, this is going to be September of 2023, and we're going to be working to finish this out and get it painted before October of 2023. We'll see if that goes the way we plan, but we're going to get it done regardless in 2023. So the full content will be available before the end of October, I hope. Now, again, this is session number four. So if you haven't uh, had the opportunity to go back in time and see some of the previous sessions leading up to this portion of the project, make sure you go do so. Uh, I will link that right above now. Da -da -da -da. There it is. If you're on TV, there it is. Uh, I've been told that it doesn't show up on mobility. So, so as far as us creating this, we are going to do a little bit of a different texture on the front of the gravestone. Uh, <clears throat> if you want to see the texture that we did on the, the back side, you can go look at that video. Uh, it is absolutely incredible, and I'll also link the, the playlist at the very end if you would like to see all of the videos that contain in this uh, series. So we're going to apply a little bit of an edging texture here. This is kind of like just a two pieces of clay that I've cut, layered on, and we're going to blend these in. These match the same texture uh, that I have along the corners of the gravestone there. And those also taper from the top to the bottom so that it kind of gives it a nice overall gravestone-like look. Now, I'm also sculpting here so that those on TikTok Live can see that. And here are the skulls that we made on the back. We're gonna also going to make some to go on the front. Now, these skulls just uh, break up the monotony of the existing cobblestone and the existing stones that we've been sculpting into that cobblestone. And I did a full tutorial on how to make that cobblestone effect in session number three. Now, I did highlight that a little bit in session number two, but I did a full uh, tutorial of that on uh, session three so jump back a session if you'd like to see how we made that cobblestone texture it's super easy super fast and it can be applied to a lot of different scenarios now as you can see here we're filling in the edges of that clay a little bit now these are quite large in general and we're going to kind of shave them down as we kind of define them into the overall shape of the eyes nose and mouth of a skull I wanted to look very similar to the ones on the back, but also I wanted to look independent. So we're going to be very free with our, our, our sculpt work here. We're going to keep it kind of loose and, and just have fun with it. And, and then any kind of details that you left behind during this process is just a blessing. Uh, any kind of washes that we apply to or dry brushing is going to accent the overall roughness of this kind of texture. And I want it to look like just rough, worn out, ragged stone. And I think that we're able to achieve that quite well. But as you can see, we're just creating these nice little skulls here. And we'll kind of smooth and define those a little bit more later on in the process. Kind of adding a little bit of a stippling um, mortar texture to the edges of those, those skulls there to make it look like they've been mortared into place. Now they will be stone textured, so it will look like they're actual stone. And I'm also going to apply some kind of color to them. I just don't know how I want to do that yet. I'm really thinking about applying maybe a gold leaf texture to the eyes, nose, and mouth of each individual skull. So we'll kind of see how that plays out. We'll see if I end up doing that or if I want to do like a blood drip or something like that. Um, I think I do blood drip a lot. So we might switch it up and do like a, a, a gold leaf effect with maybe like a green glow drip out of the eyes or something. We'll kind of see how we figure out when we get to it. Now we're going to apply the kind of stenciling on the front of the item here. We're going to go ahead and apply the the uh, the, the stenciling in more of a uh, uh, of a loose fashion, and we're just going to do R.I.P. Just simple rest in peace, and we're going to call a day. We're not going to go above and beyond to make some uh, some extravagant writing. Now, if somebody were to order something and they wanted some extravagant monogramming, then yes, I would make their item that way. But for today, we're just going to kind of keep it nice and simple. And what I'll do is I'll use a, a variety of tools here, including the silicone tip tool to just slowly remove as much clay as I need to get a nice carved RIP look. Uh, and then once we get done with this, we'll go ahead and apply the dots, which are the RIP dots, um, uh, into the, the, the stone sculpture as well. And I will also apply a downward uh, uh, swipe on those to make it look like the edges of those downward swipe holes are kind of eroded and, and, and being destroyed. I'm kind of maybe making sure to drag the existing uh, I and the P legs down quite a bit. I want to make sure that they look like they're just worn or whoever put those in didn't really do a great job. They, they left it very rough. 
as you can see we did apply a cobblestone effect to the, the 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 bottom and the top portion of the front of the tumbler so if you want to see that tutorial again at the end of this click the playlist and then jump over to session three and it's a probably about a i'd say about an 18 long minute long video of us creating the entire back portion where we uh, applied that uh that uh, that cobblestone effect uh, so it's very simple, very easy to do it, but uh, it really doesn't take too long to pick up on it. It's just like three or four easy steps, but uh, I enjoy putting that video together for you guys to learn how to make something new, something I've never made before, and I'm, I'm hoping that people out there will enjoy it. We're using the edge of our sandpaper. This is a very coarse sandpaper, and we're using that to apply a concrete texture. Some of this concrete texture won't really survive the painting process, depending on how thick I put those paints on, uh, but we're going to go with the flow and just see how it turns out. Thinking it looks pretty good here. I'll probably come back later and apply a few cracks uh, above the RIP uh, monogramming there, but we'll kind of see how that goes when we get to that stage. Uh, so this is where we are at this point. I'm thinking it's looking really good so far. But what I just feel like it needs something extra, and I just wasn't sure where I needed to take it. We have the sides done as far as the, the both the sides. Uh, we have the, the taper of the, the bottom of the gravestone sweeping outward and then up towards the top of the gravestone. We also have that, that uh, concrete base around the very bottom. And you can see we got a lot of variations in the overall texture of uh, the, the cobblestone effect. Uh, and on the back there you can see it has the same cobblestone effect, which is it's a little bit lo a lower profile as far as the stone's projection. We have those existing skulls, the two at the bottom, and then we also have that beautifully uh, sculpted master skull on the very back. Uh, and we want that to have a little bit of a cartoonish look to it, more of a Tim Burton-esque look that, as opposed to a realistic skull. Kind of keep it free, kind of keep it loose, and then just have fun with the creation process. You can really see that. I'm really thinking about the idea of taking part of that jaw away and then actually putting it down below as a piece that had broken away from the main skull and then just give it like a stippled concrete like texture like it had broken away. We'll see about that later on in the process. If I do do that, it'll be the spur of a moment type of thing, but it has to be baked regardless. So we'll go ahead and, and uh, get it baked and then we'll decide if we want to break a piece of that away. I could do it beforehand if I wanted to, but we'll, we'll just play it by ear and see how it looks when I get it all said and done. I'm really digging the skulls at the very bottom and then uh, we got those across the front. Now the front of the cobblestone is doing a fade effect. I want that to just slightly disappear. I don't want it to draw the eye an extraordinary amount. Uh, so we just did it a little bit faded as opposed to more prominent as we did on the sides. But anyways, guys, I really do hope y'all enjoyed this short form video. If y'all want to see how to make the cobblestone, check out session number three. Make sure you subscribe, like, and I will see you guys in the next awesome session of this project from the grave.